It's one of the most iconic aircraft ever built, sleek, mysterious, and unbelievably fast. The SR-71 Blackbird wasn't just a spy plane, it was a technological leap so ahead of its time that even decades after retirement, no aircraft has truly replaced it. Developed in the secrecy of the Cold War by Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works division, the SR-71 was designed for one purpose, to fly higher and faster than any missile that could chase it. And that's exactly what it did. Flying at speeds over Mark III and altitudes above 85,000 feet, the Blackbird became untouchable in the skies. The development of the SR-71 began in the early 1960s as the United States needed a replacement for the U-2 spy plane, which had been compromised when one was shot down over the Soviet Union in 1960. What the US needed next was something that couldn't be caught, something invisible not by stealth, but by speed. The SR-71 was the answer built almost entirely out of titanium to withstand the intense heat generated by flying at such high velocities, the aircraft actually expanded several inches during flight. Ground crews had to deal with fuel leaks while the plane was sitting still, as the joints were designed to seal only when the aircraft reached operational temperatures at high speed. The SR-71's engines, the Pratt and Whitney J-58s, were part turbojet and part ramjet. At full throttle, most of the thrust came not from the turbine, but from the shock, cone, compression and airflow, essentially making the Blackbird more of a flying jet furnace than a conventional plane. It could cruise at 2,200 miles per hour, crossing entire countries in minutes. This made it an unmatched surveillance platform. Equipped with cameras that could read license plates from 80,000 feet up, the SR-71 provided real-time intelligence to the US military and government throughout the Cold War. What made the Blackbird even more fascinating was its defense mechanism. It had none. It didn't need weapons or countermeasures. If a missile was detected, the protocol was simple. Speed up. Over its entire operational life, not a single SR-71 was ever shot down, despite over 4,000 attempts by enemy forces pilots reported seeing enemy missiles streaking toward them on radar, only to fade away as the Blackbird simply outran them. This unmatched performance gave the United States a crucial advantage in intelligence gathering, especially in areas like the Soviet Union, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Despite its capabilities, the SR-71 was retired in the late 1990s due to high operating costs and the rise of satellite surveillance and modern drones. But even today, no publicly known aircraft has matched its combination of speed, altitude and operational flexibility. Many aviation fans and experts still believe the SR-71 could offer value today, especially in a world where fast and secure intelligence gathering is more critical than ever. Rumours about successors, like the elusive SR-72, continue to swirl, keeping the legend alive. The SR-71 Blackbird wasn't just a plane, it was a masterpiece of engineering, a Cold War sentinel, and a symbol of what human ingenuity could achieve when pushed to the limit. It continues to inspire aerospace design, military innovation, and aviation enthusiasts around the world. Its legacy is not just in the records it set, but in the awe it still commands. If you found this flight through the world of high-speed espionage fascinating, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Aviation Archives for more amazing stories from the skies. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode where aviation history takes flight.